I know you're probably worried right now about the whole influx of crime going on in the Caribbean right now. And you're like, what are we going to do? How are we going to solve this? Guess what? I have the solution. Free Vibes Cartel. Yeah, I'm joking though. Calm the fuck down. Senile. Babsy since you're born, say you're spoiled. Goo Babsy. Goo Babsy. Goo Babsy. Goo Babsy. I want your blood, them more slowly and cheer. Probably much and I. Goo Babsy. Goo Babsy. Goo Babsy. I say to blood, them more slowly and cheer. Yes, everybody, it's your girl Babsy here. Video for you today because. People keep messaging me day in and day out about the crime issue in the Caribbean and they want me to say something, so I cometh to talketh. But before I get into this video, if you are sensitive and you are overly patriotic, don't watch this video because I'm not dealing with you. I'm dealing with people who are actually looking for a solution, not people who are going to come and cuss and carry on about the Rascal problem. So just click off from now. If you're not following me yet, make sure you are following me on Instagram. Stop this video and go follow me right now. I am Strictly Babsy over there and um, on all my social media outlets, my name is Strictly Babsy, even Snapchat. Um, make sure you subscribe to me right here on YouTube. My name here is Strictly Babsy. I do all my rants here. And I am on Facebook as well. My name there is Babsy at large. Uh, I have the verified check mark so you know it's me because there's a lot of Babsy accounts floating around. So don't forget to subscribe here. Know that I will be doing my rants here Mondays and Wednesdays and I will be doing my live bun down and dear Babsy. Babsy and Babsy After Dark Thursdays and Fridays on Facebook. If you are confused about my schedule because I know it's very hectic, uh, just download my app out of the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store. It's called Babsy Beyond Blogging. You will get a notification every time I put up a video, every time I go live. So you won't miss nothing because a lot of you keep saying you missed the live, you missed this. Just get the app and you'll get a text. I don't know if it's going to work on a blue phone. I don't know because I didn't really design it for that. But uh, we gonna try, all right? So, if you know you're sensitive, as I said, don't watch this video because I'm gonna be talking about a, a few things and I know a lot of you can't handle it, so just don't watch it because it makes no rassal sense to watch this here, you understand? So over the last couple of weeks, as I said, people have been messaging me left, right, and center. They wanna know uh, how to fix crime in the Caribbean, how to fix crime in their island, how to get justice for certain crimes in their island. And um, over the last couple of months, you know, I've been really tight-lipped on a lot of these situations because I'm like y'all just ain't ready for this this conversation you're not ready for so we're gonna try this today and see if you are actually ready for this conversation I don't think you are but let's just try and see what's gonna happen all right so I think Babsy personally from watching uh, from the outskirts and outside remember I live in Toronto Canada that in the Caribbean the problem is inconsistencies in how penalties or punishments are handed down when it comes to crime. Now, why are there inconsistencies? Because there's inconsistencies in how people view and see crime in the Caribbean. It's true. And how justice is arrived at in the Caribbean is inconsistent as well. So we have really two major problems as to why crime will never be alleviated until the people understand why there's crime, why there's no justice. Now, there's some been there's been some high profile cases over the past couple of months. Uh, one of them is the X6 trial that happened in Jamaica. Now, Kajil Mees was in a uh, taxi, and it is alleged that uh, Patrick Powell, who's a very high-powered businessman in Jamaica, shot into this taxi when the taxi hit his brand new X6. Now, notice the car name is what's describing the trial, right? Now, this man, Patrick Powell, got off. Now, a lot of the people are saying he got off because he has a lot of money. A lot of people are saying he got off because Kajil Mays is from the ghetto or whatever. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to say this. The fact that many of you are like Free Vibes Cartel because this man, Patrick Powell, did not go to jail is why you will never have justice in any of your nations. Because justice for Kajil Mays has nothing to do with Vibes Cartel absolutely nothing you need to get justice for Kajil Mays find his killer convict his killer get justice for his family his family will not get justice by freeing vibes cartel I don't understand the connection I don't understand the parallel I don't understand what cartel's trial has to do with Kajil Mays's killer 
I'm lost. If if there's something that's going on that I don't know about, please message me and comment below. And let me know why cartel needs to be free because Patrick Powell did not go to jail. I need answers. Now, I'm not here to say Vibes Cartel is guilty. I don't know if Vibes Cartel is guilty. I'm going to tell you he's not innocent. That is your all problem. Just because someone may not be guilty, someone is guilty, has nothing to do with their innocence or non-innocence. Okay? Those are two separate things. Now, you need to get real about life. So let me give you an example. In North America, sex crimes are taken very seriously. Now, what do I mean by taken very seriously? It means they're enforced. What does it mean that they're enforced? It means that if you are caught sexually assaulting another individual, a minor, you will do jail. Nicki Minaj's brother is going to face serious jail time for having sex with a minor. Doesn't matter if the minor wants to charge him or not, you will do jail. Nicki Minaj has the amount of money to pay off anybody. He's going to do jail because it is a serious crime for an adult to have sex with a minor. Now, in the Caribbean, this is not the case. I know these rules exist on the rule books. However, they're not strictly enforced. However, they waver based on the individual. If this person has money, they will get off. If this person comes from a poor background, they'll go to jail, and so on. It is not a consistent penalty or punishment for many sex crimes in the Caribbean. This is known. So what does this do? It con confuses the criminals. So they're more likely to take a risk troubling someone's child because they're seeing people not going to jail for 25 to life for it. In Toronto, I've witnessed rapes and sexual crimes go down substantially. In the 80s, people were getting left, raped left, right, and center. Man was jumping out of bush with black mask on, raping women. But you know what Toronto did? And the rest of Canada practically pretty much has this. It's called a sex registry. So what does this mean? It means that if you are caught sexually assaulting someone and you go to jail, first off, you have to go in protective custody in jail because you can't even go on a regular range with the regular man them. They'll kill you probably. Or they'll rape you. B, when you go on this registry, it's a database that you go into. So wherever you live, you have to notify people within a certain um, distance from where you're going to be living that you are a sex offender. And trust me, this poses a very big issue for when these people come out of jail. A lot of them don't care about the jail sentence, right? I get 10 years for rape. But when you come out, where are you going to live? You can't live here. In my area, they can't live here. So they have to go and live out in some bush out in northern Canada because they have to be a certain distance from schools. They have to be a certain distance from um, a high number of children. And it's a very strict registry that's followed. In the Caribbean, you don't have this. And you don't want this. Because if you find out tomorrow your brother's having sex with a minor, you will do nothing. You will say nothing. And what you will probably do is be like, she fast. She did fucking from before he. Oh, yeah. And that is not justice. And that is not identifying criminals. This is where you will struggle. When I see gunmen get shot in the Caribbean, here's the first thing that happens. If it's a police that shoots them, people run out and run like, oh God, the police killing people. Oh, da, 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 da. All kind of thing. Meanwhile, that person that got killed, killed 55 people in the last two years. But you out in the road bawling and want the police job to be revoked for killing that person. You have to understand what is crime first before you start talking about justice. So are we ready in the Caribbean to lock up any motherfucker that sexually assaults a woman? What is sexual assault? A lot of you don't even know what that is. Well, I could be sitting with you in a bar, having drinks. I could tell you, yes, man, let me go to your back to your hotel and let me get jiggy. When I get to the hotel and I'm like, you know what, I'm not feeling this. If you touch me after that, that is sexual assault. Period. Many of you believe that sex is contractual. So if you signed a contract here verbally and said, yeah, I'm going to have sex with you, you have to fulfill that. No, you don't. You cannot take vagina from a woman, take boxy from a woman, take boxy from a man. That is sexual assault. Are we ready to be like, if you touch somebody unwantingly, they're going to go to jail? No, you're not. Because the minute the girl is a prostitute, the minute the girl is waffless and been around the block, you're going to find some excuse as to why she was raped. Oh, she had on a mini skirt. If she didn't want to get raped, why is she dressed so? 
You're not ready for that conversation. Furthermore, you're not ready to really give the nail to the hammer on the wall for rapists. You're, oh, leave Doc here alone. Um, he, he served his time. Do you think the person he raped served their time? Oh, he didn't really rape her. Were you there? Why are you talking on facts that you know nothing about? But you're out here preaching from drag here because he sings well. A lot of you do it with R. Kelly. Oh, you can't say R. Kelly's a rapist. He was never convicted. He doesn't have to be convicted. I watched a video with R. Kelly with a 14-year-old urinating on him. What more do you need? But then now you will take your money and buy R. Kelly's music. You will take your money and drive four states to go to his concert. Because, oh, he his songs back in the 90s, you love them. You're not ready for justice. Because if you were ready for justice, you would be not supporting anything to do with R. Kelly because every dollar you give him is the same money he was flashing in his video on the little 14-year-old. He's going to find some other little child to go and molest and rape and then come back and say, well, she was fucking before R. Kelly touched her. You're not ready. You're not ready for this conversation. Rapists should be castrated because rape is not an accident. It's not a mistake. You cannot get an erection Hold down somebody that's unwilling to have sex with you, sex them and ejaculate and call that an accident. An accident is if I left the stove on today and I almost burned down my house. That's a mistake. A careless mistake, but that's a mistake. A mistake is if I oversleep and I got to go pick up somebody at the airport. You don't get an erection, hump somebody, bust a nut, and that's a mistake. So for me, I don't fucks with Jack here at all. I don't fucks with R. Kelly at all. And I mean that. They cannot see my money. They cannot get my support because they're rapists. If you've raped in the past, you're a rapist. If you've murdered somebody, you are a murderer. You go to jail for 25 years and you come out, the person is still dead. The family is still mourning. You're not ready for this conversation. You're not ready. The only thing I can say is that here's where the government officials are wrong because everybody blames the government. Any, everybody blames politicians. Everybody blames the police. Here is where it is their fault. I watched a video clip of a woman in Trinidad. Her daughter was murdered by her boyfriend. And this woman I thought was going to die. It was on an Ian Allen clip and she was hysterical, crying as expected. And I'm like, this woman has to go back in society with no counseling, no support, no help. She's not going to live a normal life from here out. This is not going to get better for her unless she gets help. And in the Caribbean, there's no help for these kinds of things. Someone died at my workplace about a month and a half ago. The same day there was grief counselors there because we all work with him. So obviously somebody that dead, everybody's like, okay, if you want to talk, if you want to this, this is what is needed. Governments need to start putting in counseling in place for these people. There's a lot of mad people walking around in the Caribbean and we know they're mad and we think it's funny and we laugh at them. So they go and they rape one of our children, kill one of our children, murder somebody. Then all of a sudden you're like, he was mad from ever since. Yeah, but what did we do about getting him under control? Because if you don't do nothing, you're just as guilty. So... Every single one of you watching, turn your eye when you see a big man going to sex a little girl. You say, oh, it's not my child. What is that, though? Are you doing something to make your community better? No, you're not. You're just sitting there, rambling your mouth, and then complaining. I don't know what's going to happen until somebody steps in and is like, look, A, let's vi revisit our crimes. Why are people going to jail for 15 years for a joint, but raping their daughter and getting probation for six months? And then their daughter has to go and find somewhere else to live. We need to get real about the crimes that are going on in our society, in the Caribbean. And we need to get serious about it. We're not there yet. Because if you have sex with a minor, you need to go to jail. Doesn't matter if that kid is fast. A minor cannot consent to having sex. They cannot drive. They cannot drink. They cannot, do a, they cannot vote. Why? Because they're a minor. You cannot make an excuse that some young child came on to you. You are the adult. You need to get serious about it. Rape, murder are the two biggest crimes in the Caribbean right now. And they cannot be put under control because when we talk about the death penalty, uh, the Bible says thou shalt not kill. If you start fucking executing murderers in the Caribbean on live Facebook, you will see your crime uh, when it comes to people getting shot and murdered decline substantially. Because nobody wants to sit and get fried for killing someone. Very few people will be willing to do that. But your consequences are not steep enough. Your, your people go to jail and they're getting slices of pork for Christmas and they get, 
Get serious about punishment. Get serious about justice. Get serious about crime in general. And you'll see a decline in your community. Very simple. What can you do? Well, go to your local MPs. Bring people. Start getting serious. You're not there. You're not ready to make a step. You're not ready to take action. So why are we complaining about crime in the Caribbean again? I have no clue. Until you're ready to get serious, it is not going to go anywhere. This is my take on it. Free Vibes Cartel. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because people go start cussing me. Let's start thinking about who's innocent, who's not innocent. We need to start there. Don't be out here preaching for someone who's not innocent. You need to stop that. Let's stop preaching for people we don't know what they did. Let's stop that. Let's stop looking at because you sing good, you can kill someone and we want you free on the road. We can, you can rape someone and we want you free. Stop looking at crime like that and start looking at it consistently. No matter where you come from, what your race is, what your background is, how much money you have, if you do this, this will happen to you. Start there and we should live happily ever after. Anyhow, it's your girl Babsy. Make sure you subscribe to this video here. Leave a comment if you're like, Babsy, you're a cunt. I won't read it, but leave a comment anyways. Make sure you thumbs up and share this video on Facebook. Love you all. See you tomorrow because I gotta come back because you know I'm on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm on a schedule and I was late today. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. Fuck off. Woo. Yeah, done most of the Mr. AZ. Represent the Babsy's blog. Yeah, Babsy. So easy now. Now, boy, I could not this Babsy block no day. Cause him could not get away. Anyway, Babsy said them boy, they are plaguey. The whole of them I get spray. But anybody test Babsy after hours does get murder. Laugh and smile, now Babsy block style. We know the flex, we know.